Good morning, kindergarten. So today is Thursday. For literacy, I'm gonna be reading you a book in a minute, okay? And that book is called From Egg to Butterfly. And that author is gonna teach you about the life cycle of a butterfly, okay? And they have four parts to their life cycle, okay? Your job in Seesaw is to write the four parts of the butterfly's life cycle, okay? And listen closely to the book because it's gonna tell you the different parts of the butterfly's life cycle, okay? I'm gonna tell you the first one, just like our chickens that we're growing. Butterflies start as eggs, okay? So listen while I read the story and go into Seesaw and then write the four parts of a butterfly's life cycle, all right? Your other job in Seesaw today is I put up some emojis and with each emoji, you are gonna have to think of a sentence that goes along with it, okay? So I'm gonna, I have an example up here and then I'm gonna give you another example, okay? So let's pretend that the emoji up there was the picture of somebody crying, okay? I only have my black right now, um, so I couldn't make it yellow with blue tears. But if it was a crying emoji, you would think of a sentence with the word crying in it, okay? So I thought of, um, I cried when I fell off my bike, okay? So I used the word cried, which is just like crying, okay? One of the ones I did give you was a baby bottle. Okay, there's my baby bottle. And I, I already have one, Benny Boo Boo drinks milk from a bottle. Benny Boo Boo drinks milk from a bottle. Okay, so this is this is the part where you get to make a choice. Now, it might be kind of hard for you to write in Seesaw and write down the sentences. Um, so you, you could choose to write them if it's not hard for you. You could choose to type your sentences or you could choose to get another sheet of paper and you could write them on paper because I, under, I understand that some of you have different ways you like to do things and you can make the choice of whatever you like to do best, okay? If you write them on a paper, that's awesome, that's great. You, can, you could take a picture and send it to me in Seesaw. You don't have to, it's whatever you choose, okay? So those are your two literacy jobs. Next, you're gonna listen to my book, and then after my book, I have the eggs I wanna show you. I realized I haven't even shown you our eggs in our incubator. So look for those. Bye, guys. Good morning, it's Thursday, and it's time for literacy. Today, I'm gonna to read you a nonfiction book called From Egg to Butterfly. And we are gonna learn about the life cycle of a butterfly, okay? And this book is by Shannon Zemlicka, all right? And I really like that Shannon Zemlicka added real photos of caterpillars and butterflies to this story. It makes it really cool, okay? Here we go. So the book is really big, so I'm gonna read the words first and then I will show you the picture. Here we go. A mother lays eggs. A butterfly starts as an egg. A mother butterfly lays her egg on a plant. This picture shows eggs close up. The eggs are really tiny. Okay, so here is a picture of the butterfly laying the eggs and there are the eggs right there. That is so cool. The eggs hatch. Sometimes the eggs grow for a few days. Other times they grow for months. Then they hatch. A caterpillar comes out of each egg. A caterpillar looks like a fat worm with legs. There it is. And that is a really zoomed in picture because that is part of a leaf. And there's the egg. It's translucent now because inside of it was that caterpillar. The caterpillar eats. The caterpillar is hungry. It eats its eggshell. 
Then it eats green plants. So that eggshell that it came out of, it eats it. Wow, look at that caterpillar. <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> the caterpillar grows. Eating makes the caterpillar grow. It gets bigger and bigger, but its skin does not grow. The skin becomes very tight. It fits like a coat that is too small. Look at that caterpillar. Oh, wow. Great picture. The caterpillar sheds its skin. The caterpillar's skin splits open. A new skin grows under it. The new skin fits just right. The caterpillar wiggles out of the old skin. This is called molting. So there we go. I know that that is actually a monarch that's going to turn into a monarch butterfly. And it almost looks like it's pooping, but that is its old skin. A shell forms. The caterpillar grows and molts, grows and molts. Then it hangs from a branch. It molts again. This time, a hard shell forms around it. The caterpillar has become a pupa. There it is, it's starting to grow. It's chrysalis or it's cocoon. The body changes. The pupa stays inside the shell. It grows and changes. Wings form. What is happening? There you go. So actually a monarch butterfly's um, chrysalis or cocoon is green. And then as it gets closer and closer to emerging or hatching, it turns translucent again, which means you can see through it. And you can see there's part of the monarch wings. And there it is hanging from a branch. The shell cracks. The pupa has turned into a butterfly. Its body cracks the shell. The butterfly craw crawls out. It is soft and wet. There you go. See how it is coming out? And it says it's wet. Same with our chicks. Our chicks, when they first hatch out of the egg, they're going to be wet. And they'll actually stay in the incubator for about 12 hours to let them kind of fluff up. Yeah. Wings open. The butterfly rests. It opens its wings slowly. Sun and air dry the wings. There it is. That is not a monarch. That's a different type of butterfly. But there it is. Fly, fly away. The butterfly is ready to fly. It has grown from egg to butterfly. There it is. And that's the end of our story. From egg to butterfly. I just realized I have never showed you guys the eggs. All right, so here we go. Here's the incubator that you saw me set up in Cam's room, okay? So right here I have, um, this is the control center. It tells me my temperature, which right now is 100.3 degrees, which is perfect, okay? And then next it'll tell me the humidity, 55%. So we are good at humidity. I'm gonna take the top off so you can see these beautiful eggs we have, okay? There we go. There's our eggs getting all warm in their egg turner. All right. So, and then when I put the top back on, the temperature changes. Um, you see right now it was only 98 degrees, but it'll go back up in the humidity, 26. That's just because I opened it. But there's our chickies. <laughs>